Well, the wait is almost over. Less than 24 hours from now, the Beavers will take the field at and take, take the field for the first time at Winona State. The last meeting, BSU lost a close one 2017 at home two seasons ago. The Warriors, well, they're coming off an 8-3 and three campaign with plenty of experience returning defensively, including seven starters and the reigning number one scoring and total defense in the league, only allowing 17 points a game. But the NSIC's returning top offense takes it as a challenge early on. Absolutely, but we, we're not going to look at the stats. We'll, we'll take it one play at a time, and the better team will end up winning this game, and I feel like that'll be us. Get Jordy into a rhythm. That's you know, He's kind of our lifeblood of our team, where he goes, we go. Uh, so hopefully he can get off to a good start and, and get the ball rolling for us. On the other side, Winona must replace quarterback Jack Nelson, the top rusher and receiver from 2016. But they have experience in the trenches, led by guard Jake Gronholz, and the Gang Green D knows they must set the tone early. We're coming for them. Uh, they, they're all going to be, uh, they got a the good old line um, returning um, experience. But like you said, it's going to be a quarterback stepping in that hasn't got many playing. He's going to be a senior guy. Um, and then they got a running back that has a little bit of experience, but not their guy. And a receiver that they lost last year, that was their, their stud. So. Yeah, we're going to come after them and make them beat us, definitely. So we're going to make sure that we just keep pressuring them and making them make decisions. So number 25 on the road tomorrow, 6 p.m. We'll have those highlights on the show tomorrow at 10. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.